Hello, everybody. How you doing? I love you. God bless you. I'm going to start begin with a prayer right now. <sighs> Holy Ghost. Jesus. I just thank you for being here right now. I thank you, Lord. You are worthy. I thank you for the blessings today. I thank you for those two people at the gas station that I had the opportunity to pray over, Lord God, and bless them with a little bit of your money, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that that you put us in, in charge of this ministry, Lord. And I thank you that you back us up. I thank you that you provide for us. I thank you that you bless other people as they sow into this ministry. Lord, you're, you're awesome and you're wonderful. And you are the living God, the only one. And I thank you. And Lord God, I'm going to read your word. And I ask that the Holy Spirit speak through me, Lord. I ask for the presence of God, the Shekinah glory, to be here right now. To fill my house and to fill their house watching, Lord. And Lord, if there's somebody who's watching right now and they're sick or they have pain, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. And I say, pain go from them right now. Go. Go to the pit where you belong. In Jesus' name. Lord God, go. Holy Spirit, go right to that pain and release it. And get it. let it be loosed in the name of Jesus. Any, any sickness, stuffy nose, allergies right now, be loosed. Any infirmities, be loosed right now from them and go to the pit. In Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for your word and be with us right now. And let this word cut to their hearts, Lord. Let the word sink to their memories forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to thank everybody sowing into RS Ministries. This ministry was not, was not just meant for me and my family to be blessed when we started feeding people with our leftovers and the Lord grew it into what it is today 750 900 meals a month it was for Patterson <coughs> and others who so into it to be blessed it was for families to get involved <coughs> We, we had a, a, a bunch of families wanting to come out in the beginning, and now we only got uh, one family who's, um, who's coming out. But we have a lot of families who are sowing. You know, they're dropping off and they're loving um, and with donations in the name of Jesus. And we, we love that. And we know a lot of people ain't, ain't anyone got time to go out and serve. But I'm going to ask you right now, this video is going to be on the ministry page. I want to ask you right now, this if you're from Patterson and you like what we're doing, come out, see, get involved, let the let the less fortunate, let the homeless people out there see who you are. Learn how to pray for them. You know, this ministry is also a discipleship ministry. Come out and learn how to love people. Learn how to just read a scripture to them. Share with them. Bring the goodness of God. Give them the taste of our loving Father. The goodness of God. Because He is good. And um, for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. And then Jesus loved the world and He gave His life. And He gave an example of how to live with the Spirit of God in Him. And how to, how to love and how to have relationship with his father. How to pray. He was a prayer person. He taught us how to pray. He gave so much. Now it's our turn to pick up where Jesus left off. And give in the name of Jesus. And give. Patterson, California, I'm calling you out. Come on out. Come on out. You know, um... We didn't know we were going to do this seven days a week. I was really feeling in my heart. I was feeling the Lord tell me, you know what? More families are going to get involved. You're going to be doing it, you know, four days. And there's going to be another family. I'm inviting one family to take one day a month and to commit themselves to that one day. The ministry will provide the food. We'll figure it out. If you're going to be a Thursday, once a month Thursday, we'll mark it on the calendar once a month. 
you know, if you can handle two days a month, whatever it is, we'll mark it and we'll supply. God will supply and you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Blessed in the name of Jesus. I woke up the other morning, about three in the morning, went to turn on the TV and uh, there was a Christian channel saying, right now, 120 people are going to donate $1,000. You know what? I'm not asking that. I'm not asking that. I'm asking just to come out and give us a half an hour once a month because it takes a half an hour to serve. Once a month. Say, God bless you. Here you go. God bless you. Here you go. 30 minutes, you can get out and see and feel the love of God as it flows through you. Okay? <laughs> I love you and God bless you. All right, so I'm going to read James 5, 14, and 15. Amen? Uh, really spoke to me today. And we'll begin. Thank you, Lord. We'll, we'll go 13 right here to start. Is anyone among you suffering? There's a lot of people suffering out there. Let him pray. Amen? When you're suffering, pray. Is anyone cheerful? When you're happy, cheerful, what does it say to do? Let him sing psalms. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your psalms. Now, 14. If anyone among you is sick, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Now, the oil is a representation of God, okay? Holy Spirit, okay? So, now in 15 it says, And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Forgiven. Okay, now I want to point out something. <coughs> If anyone of the money is sick, let him call for the elders of the church. Now, why would James say call for the elders of the church? Because an elder of the church is supposed to live a lifestyle that's pleasing to God. A holy lifestyle. For I am holy. What does what that scripture say? For I am holy, then be holy. Okay, so an elder... I'm paraphrasing that. An elder, I just had the other day, but I don't have it now. An elder is supposed to live a holy life. Okay? Ready to destroy the devil's work. Okay? An elder is supposed to live this out. So that's why James said, go to the elders. Because they are ready to battle the enemy. They are ready to destroy the enemy's work. Okay? So, I just wanted to share that with you. That came to my heart when I read it. Amen. So it says, Let him call for the elders of the church. Amen. And let them pray over him. Right on, right on. Okay. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, oil, representation of the Holy Spirit of God. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. Okay. I want you to know something. That did not say that the elder saved the sick. That just said go to him. Okay? Because they are supposed to be ready to do this. They're supposed to be ready to put people with that oil and, and deliver that fire of the Holy Ghost, that healing power of Jesus Christ. Amen? But it wasn't the elder that caused the healing. It was... Holy Spirit and it was the prayer it says and the prayer of faith will save the sick so it's the prayer of faith that will save the sick I had to point that out to you okay so you can pray a prayer of faith and heal in the name of Jesus Christ okay I'm just saying that's what the Holy Spirit put on my heart today to share with you. Uh, I love you. This is a nine-minute video. I'm going to um, do one more. One more. Um, James 4.17. James 4.17. I'm going to go back. 
God bless the elders. I pray, Lord God, every elder in the church be blessed and anointed with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. And I pray for every church, Lord God. I bless them in the name of Jesus. And I pray for a supernatural revival to come to those churches. In Jesus' name. A Holy Ghost revival. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, so 417, it says... 417 it says therefore to him who knows to do good okay therefore to him to him who knows how to do good and does not do it to him it is sin so if you know how to do good and you don't do it you bring sin upon you so a lot of people, we make mistakes. So I encourage you every day. Good morning, Jesus. Thank you for another day. Thank you for that breath, Lord. Lord, forgive me of my sins, both known and unknown. And help me to function and do from the spirit mind and not from the carnal mind. Lord, help me to be spirit, for you are spirit and you are in me. Lord, forgive me of my sins, and I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm just saying, we, we got to continually, you know, there's going to be a time, there is a way not to be in sin. That's grace and transformation. You need to be loved 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Okay? Okay? I love you and God bless you. And um, and just just go love somebody. Just go pray. Um, just go pray for somebody. And start to release that fire. That release that fire that's inside of you. You know, I'm believing that believers are, are, are watching this video. If you're not a believer and, and you want Jesus in your life, or if you are a believer and you want Jesus in your life, I mean There's, there's so much more than just sitting. It's all about doing. Amen. I love you. In Jesus' name, I bless you. I, I declare and decree that you will be doers of the word and not just hearers of the word. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that the boldness of the Holy Spirit is upon you. And, and remember... Our children and grandchildren will have to stand before God one day. So let's raise them up in Christ. I love you and God bless you and thank you for watching my videos. Amen.